Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. I am an intuitive tarot card reader. I will be using my Rider Waite deck here, uh, using six cards to have a look at some general messages on YouTube. There will, of course, as per usual, be an extended version to this reading where the extended version will look into love and career in a little bit more depth and detail. So if you'd like to purchase and rent the extended version, the link to that will be below in the description box. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The Judgment card. The Six of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Moon, and one more card, the Queen of Swords. Okay, let's start off with the Judgment card. Most prominently, this does speak of karma, the angels, a higher power that's guiding you potentially, facing the music about something opening up your judgments, opening up your eyes, changing of perception here. What comes to mind is that uh, with the the judgment card, what comes to mind here is that uh, it, it's because it has an angel, it, it can often have, it has a religious, it can often have a religious uh, symbolism to it. And I was recently reading about uh, the Essenes, which were uh, um, a civilization that lived uh, around the time the Bible was being written. It, in fact, predates Jesus, I think, by a few years. And um, it was about the the battle that they had with the at the time with the Romans, and they called um, they call this battle the Battle of Sons of Light and Sons of Darkness because they followed different calendars: the solar calendar and the and the lunar calendar. And uh, I was reading, and it said that the angels didn't fight with swords. Um, you know, or, or, or bow arrows or, or tools. They, they fought with trumpets and minstrels and their power of light. So what I'm seeing here is that you have divine power on your side, Capricorn. And this is really powerful. You've got someone looking out for you here. Um, and then that music, that music comes to mind and it's it's facing the music about something, but it's also having a very supportive network behind you and you can see the family emerging from the coffin okay so they're emerging from darkness to see the light to embrace the light that this angel has to embrace what this angel is is sending them essentially emerging from the clouds and they have such reverence respect and honor so i do believe there possibly is respect um idolatry idolization coming in for some of you Capricorns, possibly in relation to work, possibly in relation to finding something deeper. You're coming out of your shell here. Um, I believe there's a major breakthrough. I do, especially in this first column here, the judgment card paired with the eight of cups. There is an absolutely major breakthrough happening for you in April. You're you're finally waking up to yourself or waking up to someone or a certain situation. You're finally facing the music and you're embracing what is. I don't see you having an issue with this though because the Eight of Cups shows you're genuinely ready to make a change or make a movement or follow your destiny, chase your destiny, follow the light. Uh, is what I'm seeing here with the Eight of Cups. So look, this could also be an, a water sign that's perhaps walking away from you, taking a step back. The Cancer Moon has actually come up twice in your reading. So there is a, some sort of attachment here to a water sign. Could also be a Pisces or a Scorpio. If this is the... There's also water around these coffins here or, or these boxes. <clears throat> so what I'm seeing here is emerging from a slumber, okay? If you felt you've been stuck in a rut... Or if you feel April is a little bit slow to start off with, there's going to be major internal changes that will be made that will in fact impact your external world in a powerful way. The Eight of Cups can also speak about going on a journey, going on a quest, or seeking to find depth to something here. Could be a relationship, could be a connection, could be something to do around family and children, possibly relocating your children, um meeting a partner's children for the first time it's a card of embracing here as well so as much as it might have a religious and or spiritual symbolism to it it also has that family feel okay that family card searching for meaning searching for depth okay some of you may have a child that feels a little bit lost for those that have children whether teenage adult children i feel like they're a little bit disoriented they're on the search for something deeper and they're going to almost feel like they need your blessing uh, or they want your blessing here or approval uh, capricorn 
you're definitely in a position to give this month you've got the six of pentacles this is a card of generosity of giving of help given or helped received now it could be financial so you might be dealing with finances here the judgment card can often be seen as a, a, a important document an important review a probation period so I'm not sure if this is connected to career or finance for those that are awaiting or wanting some sort of funding or loan I do believe this is coming this is in the works for you in the month of April because the scales here could signify the laws of justice here you also have a strong Libra the Queen of Swords is here Gemini Libra Aquarius but the scales do represent Libra so um, help in partnerships is what I'm actually seeing here funding or assistance help given or help received whether financial whether time wise whether love wise you know in which whichever aspect it will fall Capricorn I'm seeing that there's help given or received around a partnership a contract um, a, a divorce for example or something of this nature here but there's a contrast between these two people okay the 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 poor people and the elite those that are in a position I do believe you're in a position to really help someone really help them they could be making a very important decision the two of ones is here which can point to an important an important decision that needs to be made and will be made towards the end of the month this could be a fire sign around you a Aries a Sagittarius or Leo that needs to make some sort of decision here if this is you I feel like there's a possible relocation you've got the world in your hands here so I'm not sure if you're wanting to relocate if you're wanting to travel if you're planning travels this is coming up in April and you might be a little bit indecisive about two different places to go I do see the journey the trip happening I do see you physically leaving so for some of you this could be a long distance connection that's initiated or your there's a very strong uh there's strong conversation a lot of consistent and and thorough conversation happening with the queen of swords with someone that is either foreign someone that is either distant from you in regards to geographical distance could be living in another city country a lot of affiliations with I, I see you online a lot of affiliations with international people or perhaps working with or helping um international branches of the company or if this is you having a um, launching your own sort of social media or something to do with the web okay connecting with people at a distance is what I'm seeing here so expansion in a good way for those that are wanting that okay the eight of cups was that journey okay the depth seeking depth substance or meaning lack or limitation some of you feel some of you might be feeling a little bit empty Capricorn that you're missing something that you're lacking something with someone here and you're actually going to search for meaning you, you're searching for purpose I definitely feel like this column is extremely spiritual if, if it is uh, you then I feel like this internal this internal thing you have happening here you're you're setting out on a new journey your life could change in a lot of ways here because of your inner spiritualism because of that divine guidance here this is very very powerful the journey is just beginning look at you you're setting out you've been thinking about it for quite some time and maybe april is finally the month where you solidify that decision you stand by it and you act on it so this is very powerful this is the beginning of an amazing journey here capricorn i'm, I'm quite excited for you <clears throat> it can also speak of uh, someone at a distance children relocating children moving abroad reconciling with people family friends lovers associates reconnecting with people that have been at a distance to you perhaps some of you might be feeling a little bit anxious you know you've got the moon card anxious to be reconciling with people or reconnecting with people uh, you know it's coming and a part of you might feel a little bit you know you might not be feeling overly happy or overly ecstatic because there's, there's some sort of residual feelings that are coming up here for you potentially because you have the moon card this is emotional highs and lows it's instinctive behavior the animals act on basic instinct you know they don't have the ego this is removed from an, from, from an animal and all that is left is that basic instinct uh, survival method and I suppose once upon a time in, in our primitive state we had this too as, as humans but this side is coming out of you so defensiveness acting on basic instinct becoming territorial maybe uh, <clears throat> 
and the moon is, is, is intuitive energy. You'd be surprised how, how intuitive animals are, um, especially when we have these major planetary shifts happening. They feel this on an energetic, on a vibrational level. So I think it does come back to that, you feeling that inspiration, you feeling that vibration, that this is the beginning of a journey, okay? There's something bubbling up inside of you, Capricorn. <clears throat> it could absolutely lead to something great. Um, could be a connection to the mother here, motherly or, or nurturing energy with the moon card because she's seen as a divine feminine. She is seen as a mother. Possibly pregnancy here for some of you could be coming up. You know, you did have the young infantile children here with a judgment card. The angel might be the angel Gabriel. Uh, in, in the Bible, Gabriel came to Mary to inform her that she was... Uh, about to give birth to the Messiah, to, to, to Jesus. So, uh, look, I'm not overly religious, but, um, you know, there could be a message of a child here for some of you, whether it's your own or someone very close to you, a friend, a family member, a sibling. Even if you have a, a grown adult child in there, having children of their own, it's definitely about family for you in the month of April. But the moon can also point to creativity. Some of you need to fund a creative pursuit you have. It could be art, it could be working with animals, it could be writing, it could be designing, it could be crafting, it could be any sort of creative venture, music, um, consultancy, something that's quite independent, something that's your own will require funding, financial funding to get it off the ground. And your idea is quite, quite lucrative here because the, the droplets of gold rain down from the moon if this is involving a relationship, if you do have a cancer here or someone around you, possibly a fellow earth sign, the two towers are here. Twin energy, twin flame energy is coming through with the two, two towers. But your towers apart and what sits in the middle is the moon. So emotionally, you're both, you're both on some kind of very strong energetic vibration. Not sure if this has anything to do with the new moon in Aries that will come at the beginning of April. There could be some association because you've got the two of wands here. Um, and maybe this is why the two of you are really feeling that. you This will actually heighten your connection with this person. Could be the case with the moon card. Emphasis on animals and family as well is coming up. But let's move on to the queen of swords. This Libra, a Gemini or an Aquarius coming forward. Some of you are communicating at a distance with this person. Now, if this is not an air sign you're dealing with or connecting with in some way, shape or form here, the queen of swords is all about deliberating, making very strong decisions that will impact our future. And this is very powerful. I almost feel like this ties in with this. So whichever sort of motivation or inner spiritualism or religion whatever it is that you follow Capricorn whatever it is that you find inspiration in looking at this from what from what I can see here is that there's a major decision that's going to be made you're going to be living your life very very differently from April something is happening here within you you're changing as a person your decisions are changing suddenly you're becoming more independent or more liberated Suddenly, you don't feel bad for making these decisions. Suddenly, you feel very confident in this important decision that needs to take place. She does rule charisma and charm. Communication will be quite effortless between yourself and other people this month. If you're wanting to connect with people overseas, if you're wanting to put yourself out there, if you're wanting to establish an international following, a YouTube page, a social media following, to launch your business, launch an event, put it out there to the world, April could be an absolutely auspicious time for you to do that. I will leave it at that though, Capricorn, and continue on with your extended now, the link to which will be provided below. Thank you so much for watching.